We're Charlie and Tasha. We gave up the 9 to 5 to live in our self-converted van with our two dogs, Riley and Winnie. We've been on the road since January, travelling Scotland, France and Spain, and today we're exploring the south of France. So we've actually been parked up in Antibes uh, all weekend. There's actually free parking in the area that we're in. Um, along the front, we're 30 seconds from the beach. Um, I honestly can't believe it's free at the weekend, to be honest, but our friends recommended it. So we came down here, parked the van easy. There are a few other vans here. And yeah, we've just stayed there. We spent the weekend in Antibes uh, with our friends um, and it was brilliant. It was, we just expected to pop in for a coffee and uh, catch up with these guys and they ended up taking us here, there and everywhere and it was more than we could have ever wanted to so thank you Jimmy and Alice. It was brilliant. So today we're off um, to get Riley and win his French passports this morning. Um, so they currently travel on an animal health certificate. Um, because of Brexit their UK passports are no longer valid. Um, and that only lasts for four months, which to us is no good because we're going to be out of the country for like 10, 11 months. Um, so we're off to a French vet. It's all organised. They're happy to do it uh, this morning. come to a vet um, which our friends recommended in uh, on the edge of Antibes and they've been really fantastic and uh, a bit of an error on our part the regulations changed only two weeks ago and what that means now is the dogs you can have a passport you can still have a passport you do need a French address now but you also the dogs also have to be registered um, with the French governing body um, which is I think called ICAD uh, what that means is is when your dog is scanned it actually will come up on the French French authorities database um, it's just the information we've got today um, it's just interesting for other people that are maybe going to go down this route and have pets and are coming out of traveling we get a lot of questions on our Instagram about traveling with the dog so I just wanted to do a bit on it and just so the plan from here on in now is uh, the vets have been incredible so nice um, they, uh, we will, we have to send all the relevant information to this ICAD company um, and they will register the dogs on the governing body, happy days. They will then send the certificate um, to say that that's all good and they will send that to our friend's address um, in Antibes. Uh, and then um, hopefully from there we can then get the certificate to back to the vets. Um, they, along with that certificate, can then legally issue the pet passport and then happy days. The vet said, look, this certificate may take three weeks. We're like, we don't have three weeks. We, we've got to be in Croatia. Um, and my parents are flying out to see us and all this sort of stuff. So they very kindly said that, like, leave, uh, leave all the information with us. As long as your friends can get the certificate to us, um, it's about a 10 minute drive, it's not too far. As long as they can get it to us, we can then issue the passports to your friends. Um, Tash is definitely the better person to ask, but she doesn't like being on camera yet. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, in, it's interesting.
Yeah, you can do yeah. Welcome back. Uh, you join us a couple days after the whole pet passport saga. Um, we've made our way up to Northern Italy um, here the, this weekend for the Motocross Grand Prix in Trentino. Um, that's not until Saturday, so it's currently Thursday. We're out on a glorious hike. Tash loves it when I use the word glorious. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. hike we're on today is about 7k I think it's quite a steep start um, right the way up to Fort Fort Garden no we see Fort Garden no, no not Fort Garden <laughs> um, the battery Dell something so like a gun mount something war related yeah something war related huge thank you to everyone that um watched our video last week and commented and liked and subscribed and sent us messages really appreciate it gives you a little bit more confidence for the second one i think once the first one's well received so yeah thank you We made it to the top at Fort Sant'Alessandro Camp Del. <laughs> Definitely butchered. Butchered. The views on these walks are absolutely insane. It's quite. A, it's been quite a hard hike to start with. It's quite steep. Um, but yeah, so worth it. Now we're literally on our way down and we've still got this, which is awesome. So many creepy abandoned fortresses up here. I don't think we'll be going in any of them. A lovely morning on our hike. We went back to the van, had some lunch. Tash had a bit of a siesta, <laughs> and uh, yeah, now we're just heading back into Riva del Garda. Uh, there's a church or something. Or? Yeah, a church tower. Church tower. Yeah, we're just going to go and have a look at. It looks quite cool, um, and then hopefully some gelato. Wind. 
right, today is Friday and we've headed further up into the Italian Alps. It's absolutely stunning. Um, this is where the uh, MXGP, the Motocross Grand Prix, has been held this weekend. It's literally uh, a couple K down the road, so nice and easy for me to walk to. And um, we booked ourselves onto a campsite this weekend, which is our first one since we left in January. Yeah. First campsite since we left in January, which we're very proud of. Um, but yeah, we've done that purposely this weekend. We need to do laundry. Uh, we needed some water. Wild camping is very difficult around this area. So yeah, this site, we, we only chose it because it's the closest to the GP track. Um, I think it's around 30 euros a night, um, but it includes laundry, which, you know, we'd normally pay, what would you normally pay for laundry? Eight euros? About eight euros. To do all our laundry? Yeah, about eight euros to our laundry. So the time you take that out, it's, it's not too bad. Good morning from beautiful northern Italy. Uh, this morning I'm off to watch the practice and qualifying um, for the motocross, which I've been looking forward to for months. So I've got my chair, I've got a flask of tea, I've got some sandwiches. I'm just gonna sit all day and watch the bikes. Perfect. Um, we're gonna leave the vlog there for this week. So thank you very much for coming along. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we certainly enjoyed this week. Started off a bit challenging with the pet passport, but we got there. And if you enjoyed this week's video, please subscribe, comment, and drop a like on the video. It really helps us out. Um, it's really nice to know that people are watching them. Thanks so much, guys, and see you soon.